So, that Chris Rock movie, how long was that sex scene? What, 20 minutes? Really, Chris Rock? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I know, such a cheap move. Uh -uh, I cannot. I, I didn't expect it, but I get it. He is still a man with male fantasies. No. He is Chris Rock, okay? He is one of the world's most prominent black thinkers. Why can he not be above average foolery? Your art can't be bigger than what you're thinking about. No, but does he have to resort to uh, frat boy humor? It's not frat boy humor, it's just male humor. There's a lot of grossness in that. You know what? This is a problem, this is a real issue. Men making movies. Okay, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, at least for me, the stories that I want to hear, the ones that I'm interested in, women are telling those stories, not men. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Isn't your favorite movie made by a man? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Julie Delpy co-wrote Before Sunrise, okay? And she did not get the writing credit for it, hmm? Neither did Ava for uh, Selma. She didn't get writing credit for that either. Yeah, but you do like a lot of movies made by guys. What I think we're suffering from is really the fact that people don't want to see movies about real life. They just want fantasy. So damned are we then who want to see real life happening on this earth. We are damned. Okay, I, I understand escapism. I understand wanting to be somewhere else. But you can be somewhere else utilizing real world drama and real world gravity. That's probably it. Making things up, that's like taking a shortcut. Building real characters in real situations? That's hard. What happened to that director for Love Jones, remember? Yeah, what did happen? How do you just disappear after making something like that? I mean, Oprah should really be calling him instead of running after uh, Lee Daniels in his pajamas. <laughs> I love how Oprah is the solution to all of our problems. She's the fairy godmother of the world. She is, I'm saying. <laughs> Free cars. <laughs> Free trip.